finally, it's installed. It's up and running. Microsoft maybe consider doing something about your installer. It's just too big. We have to just install it in less than 45 minutes or whatever it took. Okay, doesn't matter. It's up and running and we're getting so much from it. So I'm just happy it's here now. So let's start out by just, I could explain these windows to you, but I think we should just start out by creating our first application. And you know what? I'm going to be a renegade. I don't want to do a hello world. I just want to do a console log where I'm writing something different than hello world. Because everybody says I have to write hello world as the first application thing and I don't want to. So I'm going to write something else. But we're going to start there. Let's make a new project. So before I do this, no, actually let me do it and I'm trying to explain to you all you see here. I press new project here on the start page, but if you don't want to do that, it's also hidden under here, file, new, and oh my god, my fingers suck, new project, there we go. So on the new project page, you have a lot of choices here. We're going to focus on the visual C sharp one because we're going to build this in C sharp code. But you also see you get C++, you get some SQL information, JavaScript, TypeScript, game development, there's a lot of things you can do in Visual Studio and that's why it takes a long time to install. But okay, I could have customized this and made it a big, bit quicker installation wise. No more about the installation. Done. But you choose here, you choose Visual C Sharp and here you have the different choices under Visual C Sharp. And I'll just run over some of them. We are going to work with the Windows part. You can do Windows Forms or VPF application. It's kind of just the front end of a UI. So it's what you're looking at right here that's actually kind of a VPF or a Windows form, right? That's just the shell that you look at as a user. Then you can do a console application. It's the black box, you know, it's the command prompt. It's where you can just write out something and read in some text. It's nothing else. That's what we're going to focus on. Then at later classes, we'll start looking into class libraries where we can share code between projects. We'll get into that later on. And then we'll switch over to the web development part. So that'll be the ASP.NET part of this. And I'll get into that later on as well. So those are the main areas I'll focus on, but you have a lot of other things you can look into if you want to. Okay, let's start with the Windows one here. And I'm just going to build a very simple console application just to write, hello, something else than world. So first one, let's select the console application and let's give it a name. And I want to call it hello something, not world. There we go. And here it says, where do you want to place this? Where do you want to put the files? Because there's a lot of files we're going to use. And I want to go under the C drive in my case. You can put this any way you want. I'm just used to using C, work. And here it's going to be called um, C sharp crash course. There we go. So I will do that. And then the last thing here is the solution. Okay, so let me try and explain the difference between a solution and a project. A solution is a high-level guy. A solution you can have only one of and then you can have multiple projects under the solution, right? So we're going to make a solution here called C Sharp Crash Course. That's going to be the solution name. There we go. Um, and then the first project in there is going to be some hello something not world. Let's try and do this. Press OK and it'll create a lot of files for me. Give it a second and I'll show you what we actually got from it in the folder. On the work, C sharp crash course, it's going to add this name again because that's the solution name. And then here we have the solution file and the first project. And as you see, we move forward, you'll get more and more projects in here. Great. So we are ready to move on. What did we actually get code wise? Well, we got a solution in the top, like I just said and a project, and under the project we have some properties, get into those later, some references, get into those later, and then the first program. There we go. So actually I'm ready to start my program now. There's nothing in there, so I'll just press start, let it run, and it'll probably pop up with a black box and hide it again. Just to see if something happens at least. Maybe you won't even see it, but let's see. Bloop, bloop. It was there, it was gone, right? That's not that much fun, so let's just add a little bit of code here. Let's do a console. There you see, this is what we call IntelliSense. This is some things we're getting from the IDE. I just wrote con and it figured out, maybe you're looking for the console word. Console lock, write line, because I want to write a line to the console lock, the black box you just saw. 
and then let me just add some kind of text. I'll explain all this later. I just want to show you. Hello, dude. It didn't say world. It said dude. And let's run it again. Now I have something to show you. But it popped up again and disappeared again right away. Okay, so let's do a little hack just to keep it there. You can do other things, but this is just my hack. I like doing it this way. We can also ask it to read a line. And let's try and run it again. Now, write line means write something to the console. Read line means when somebody press something, read it back to the system. Okay, so it waits now for my reply. That's why it stays there now. It says, Lars is going to write something. Hmm, let's wait and see what he writes. Maybe it's interesting. I guess not. Hello world. Uh, sorry, hello dude. I almost did it. I almost said hello world. Hello dude. It says it right here. So I'll press enter and it shuts down the application again. So you just made your first Windows application. It's a console log, I know, but it's a Windows application and it's running. Congratulations, you are developers. That's all it took to get up and running with Visual Studio. Let's start doing some more tricky stuff in the next videos. And I'll try and explain more about all of the different features you see in the application here. See you next time.